Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving maximum depth of a binary tree. Given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from root node down to the furthest leaf node. A leaf node is a node with no children. First of all, we should try understanding the structure of the tree node. So a tree node is going to contain three data members. These data members are one is an integer which denotes the value associated with a particular node. Then there are two pointers of the tree node type. These are pointing to the left subtree and to the right subtree. Now there are three constructors. First one is a default constructor. It is not having any argument. So in this case, the value is going to be initialized with zero the left pointer and the right pointer are going to be initialized with a null pointer. Again, in the second constructor we are given one argument and value is going to be initialized with this while the left and the right are going to be initialized with a null pointer again. In the third constructor we are given a value and the left as well as the right pointers and we are going to initialize the data members with these values. So this syntax is of the initialization list. The initialization list is invoked before the function body. So there's nothing inside the function body and initialization list is invoked before this. Now once we know the basic structure of the tree node, we can try solving this problem using recursion. So let us try to demonstrate the same with an example. So let us say we have the tree as something like this. Alright, so this is the tree which is given to us. In this case the answer should be 4 because we are having 1, 2, 3 and 4 as the maximum number of nodes from starting from the root till the leaf. So what are all are the leaf nodes? This is a leaf node, this, this and this one. So the distance from root till this node is 3, from root till this node is 3 and 3 again in this case as well. But in this case it is 4. So 4 is the answer. How we can solve this? So if we try to think it in a recursive fashion, we can recursively call the function on the left side and on the right side. So it is going to be the same algorithm which will return answer for the left subtree and for the right subtree. So the same function is going to be called on the tree which is on the right side and the tree which is on the left side the algorithm is going to remain same for both of these recursive calls then if we try to break it further let us try to call recursive function again on the right side so we have something like this and we are again calling it recursively on the left and on the right side and these are the two subtrees that we obtain this one is from the left, this is from the right. Now if we call the same function on the right side, this is the tree. Both of the left and the right are null in this case, so if we recursively call it on the left and the right side, the answer for both of them is going to be 0. So this is the base case of the recursion. It is going to return a 0. Now we will be calculating the maximum of both of these answers. The maximum is 0 itself because both the values are same and then we will add 1 to it as we have one parent node and it is going to return the answer to its parent. Now its parent is this node. We will be getting 1 from this side. Similarly if we do the recursive call on the left side we will be getting 2. Now this tree, in this tree we will be calculating the maximum from the left as well as from the right so which is 2 in this case and add 1 to it and return to its parent so it is going to return 3 so in this case we will be getting 3 
and in this case similarly we will be getting 2 now this tree in this tree we will be uh, calculating the maximum from both left and right which is 3 and add 1 to it and return this to the main function so 4 is the answer in this case this is how we are going to do this recursively and now let us try to understand the same using the code alright so what was the base case if root is null in this case you can simply return 0 else you will be having two options one from the right and one from the left and we have to take maximum of those two so we can return the maximum of we are going to use the same algorithm so roots left and the same algorithm for roots right so this function will give us the maximum of the left one and the right one and then we will be adding one to it so this is what we have to return let us try to run this we are getting correct answer now if you want to know about the space and the time complexity so when we are recursively calling we are storing the we are storing the levels so although it seems like we haven't used any extra space we will be using the space inside the stack in the form of recursive calls so as we saw that if we want to uh, know the answer for the root first we will have to evaluate the answer for the left and for the right so for that again a recursive call would be done on left and right side and similarly if, if you want to know the answer for the right side there will be further recursive calls on the left subtree and the right subtree of this and this way all these states will be stored inside stack so the height of the tree is going to be the space complexity in this case and the time complexity uh, would be big O of n as we are going to traverse as, as we are going to visit all of these nodes so big O of n time complexity and big O of h is the space complexity